yeah, Florida recently had the death penalty thing with DeSantis signing in. Now, if uh, uh, if they if they want to put forward the death penalty, you can get it with an eight four jury vote instead of a uh, unanimous vote. Mm. You know, normally for a conviction in a in a court of law for the death penalty, you need all twelve jurors. Uh, but here now it's like, hey, you just need a th you just need two thirds and the death penalty for sexual offenders to kids law. Oh yeah, this is great because the only consequence of this law is going to be that um is going to be that fewer uh, victims of child rape uh, reported to the police. It's the law, the law says execute child rapists, which, you know, on, on the face of it, you might go like, okay, well, whatever. Well, first of all, this is a very discriminatory law because this disproportionately targets Republicans and um, religious clergymen. And second of all, since so, so many children who are sexually abused are sexually abused by their parents, th like the pursuit of the death penalty in the case of any information being ousted later, like after the kid is old enough to make any kind of decisions for themselves, would probably be a deterrent to a lot of them. I imagine there are probably a lot of victims of abuse from their parents who would want their parents to be arrested, but probably not like executed, you know? This is one of those virtue signally things that you see where like you'll see a Republican on Twitter go like death to pedos, death to trans pedos, groomers, and then you'll take a look at their likes and it's all lolly porn, you know? It's it, it doesn't have anything to do with protecting children. It has to do with like the the promotion of the culture war rhetoric. Leaving aside the normal arguments against against the death penalty. Also, considering the fact that the the wording of this law, if I understand correctly, oh wait, hold on, lawmakers proposal Death penalty, sexual battery on children under the age of 12. What do you think the odds are that in Florida, like, next year, sexual battery on children under the age of 12 is going to include, like, children socially transitioning or something? Like, oh, your your 11-year-old boy is being treated like a daughter? Ah, well, that's sexual battery on a child under 12. Yeehaw. And then you get executed. Yeah. The proposal comes after decades of U.S. Supreme Court and Florida Supreme Court rulings that have said it's unconstitutional to execute defendants of rape cases. Now, Senator, no one has been executed for a non-murder crime in the U.S. since 1964. Damn, we're really breaking precedent here. Wasn't there an advisory warning? Yeah, the um, nonprofit issues travel advisory warning immigrants away from Florida. I think a queer group did the same thing, where it's like, yeah, things are getting bad enough here. Doesn't the United Nations have a travel advisory warning for the United States that varies state by state? Where it's like, okay, you're fine if you go to the blue states, but if you go to the red states, yeah, 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 literally like a, a lower class of country. Wild stuff. Blows my mind that people still move to Florida. Uh, well, Miami is growing pretty rapidly, and I think there are a couple cities in Florida that have decent tech spots, while the property values aren't quite as high as what you might get on the West Coast or in Austin or whatever. Aside from that, I have no idea. It's also, like, disgusting there. It's always humid. It rains, like, every single morning during the summer, and apparently there's going to be a hurricane every month for the rest of our lives. Florida is used for real estate money laundering. There was a queer couple leaving Florida because of how bad it is, and Ron's foreign press person was celebrating it. Yeah, I, I like all of the, uh, all of the like, dude, it's not genocide uh, types when the agents of the state are literally just like openly celebrating there being less queers in their, um, in their community. Everything's so cheap compared to the rest of the country. Like cost of living? I don't think cost of living is that low in Florida. Cost of living, Florida. Average cost of living is 50689 per year. I mean, it varies regionally quite a bit. That's from SoFi. What about uh, based on a U.S. average of 100, Florida is 103.1. What about other states? What about California for like a worst case example? Yeah, California is way higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. California is 149.9, but Florida's like pretty average. Even if you go to Texas, what would Texas be then? Like 120 or something? It's it's like a regional thing. Oh no, Texas is even lower, but that that's all of Texas, not just Austin, Houston, and Dallas, which would obviously be like way higher. Yeah, it's it's basically it's basically just a matter of like which cities are large and growing and have houses that people can still move into. You forgot about the meth gators and the skunk apes? That's true. Dallas is still relatively cheap for a city of its size. That's true, but keep keep in mind that when when we talk about whether a city is cheap for its size, 
we're comparing it to like New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Like the the problem is is that so much of this is weighted by coastal cities where there are a bunch of like boomers who are sitting on their houses as like retirement properties that are all on city councils voting against allowing for any more houses to be built so the property value of their place can stay high. So like we're just not building more houses, you know? We could be, we're not very weighted. That's what's making things more expensive in Arizona. It, it's like that everywhere. And it doesn't have to be. 